the Gorod Krovi Easter egg in 2024. Some people say this is the hardest Black Ops 3 Easter egg. Is that true? Are you kidding me? He's literally stepping on me. He might as well be emoting on me. He might as well be emoting on me. There it is. There it is. There it is. There it is. Oh, I don't think I got it. I don't think I got it. Oh my God. No, I give up with the ray gun. Oh my God. He's jumping on me. I guess it's time to find out. Okay. We're in. First thing we got to do off rip. Hit gobble gum and hope the rain drops. So the found could work, so we'll take it. Widow's wine, widow's wine as my soda found perk is pretty solid because now our knife is gonna be one hit for a few extra rounds. Okay, if I don't get rain drops here, we gotta restart. There it is. We're good. We're good. We're good. And we get jug. What a start! Oh my god. Quick revive widow's jug. Oh. Ooh, ooh, mystery box. I forgot about the mystery box. Let's get a gun. RPK will do. I wish I had more mobility, but RK RPK will do. Okay, round two. Power on. Oh, mule kick. Mule kick from raindrops is so rough. Oh, let me hit the box. Forgot about the mystery box. It's on this side. Oh, it's on this side. Monkeys? See, the thing with the Gorod Krovi Easter egg and I think it's one of the, it's part of the reason that this Easter egg is kind of difficult, at least in most people's eyes, is that you need to run through rounds. Now it's not as bad as Zetsubo, but like there's a lot of steps to this Easter egg. And because you have to run through rounds, you end up having to do some of these steps later on in the rounds. And it just makes them a little bit more difficult. And overall just kind of makes the whole thing pretty hectic. Plus, I think the layout of this map is more difficult than Zetsubo. Finally, we got our first code cylinder on round four, which I guess doesn't sound that bad. But when you're opening up the whole map with raindrops, it'd be nice to get it on two or three. Let's see where you land in. Let's hit the mystery box. Well, why not? We have a lot of points. I will take that. don't need that actually i'm gonna take it ju just just to be safe just to be safe because i don't trust myself okay we got the last shield part let's build the shield ow nah you gotta be kidding me how have i not got how have i not gotten another code cylinder yet this is this is ridiculous whatever i'm gonna start opening up the map and we might as well hit the mystery box again That is perfect. Absolutely perfect. And we're getting rid of the AG. Well, shit, I guess while we're killing time, I might as well shoot that thing down. Actually, now that I think about it, there's a few. There's a few things I could get right now. Let's grab them. Number two. Right here. Thank you. Finally, okay, there's last zombie. End the round. That's not last zombie. You gotta be kidding me. Would it be that hard? Would it be that hard to ask for a code cylinder? Please. Trap's done. Well, give me my trophy. And see, this is what I mean about having to run through rounds. Like, we're on round six, and I haven't even gotten a second code cylinder. Oh, speak of the devil. Finally. Okay, second Groff module called. And where are you landing, my friend? Oh, it landed already. Okay, we got the second part for pack a punch but we still need one more and i guess while i'm killing zombies i might as well mention uh you know if you're watching this and you haven't watched the last video go check out the last video after you're done this it didn't do very well i, I don't know why i guess people just don't like zetsubo i guess they don't like the farming and there we go final code cylinder that one was much quicker than the, than the second one wow oh it's in dragon command okay module is being attacked. i get it i get it module being attacked Insta kill? Beautiful. Beautiful. And finally, we can head over to Pack a Punch. I need to go hit I, I need to hit Gobblegum. I need stamina up. Bad. Uh, raindrops is gonna have to do for now. What? Oh, I forgot to put the parts in. I thought I I, I know I clicked it. I know I clicked it. Ah. Treyarch is trolling me. Is that good enough? Thank you. Let me buy the damn dragon. 
That's, there he is. There he is flying over to me. Absolute beauty. Let's grab a thumbnail. Okay, we're here. A few things we need to do. Wow, I really, really need stamina up. We gotta shoot the egg, grab it, and then we can leave. But I can't, okay, I can't forget to shoot this little lever. We got it. We got it. In all honesty, I think I've only completed this Easter egg like a handful of times. I've died in the boss fight of this Easter egg so many times. So many times. Okay, let's, uh, I guess let's hit the mystery box. There it is. Mark threes. That is absolutely crucial for this Easter egg. It's funny because even though it's not technically necessary, it's it's definitely necessary. And if you've ever done the Gorod Easter egg, you would you would know that. Perfect. There's dragon. Okay, we're, we're, we're going pretty good now. Now we're going pretty good. Oh, we got stamina up from our raindrops. I didn't even notice that. That's so big. Now I'm trying to find where the purple like container is on these on these little valves so i can do the valve step nice and quickly when it's time oh perfect that nuke ended the round that's perfect and there's the part for the easter egg the little purple part valkyrie round valkyrie round really valkyrie round okay we, we just need to end this round as quick as we can we need real zombies i can't do the next step with these zombies yeah, I'm gonna start calling in. I'm gonna start calling in the next dragon. We need all three dragons. We, we want to get. I want to get uh, the wings. So I need to call in all three dragons and take them all. I'll take a near-death experience. Save my gobble gums a bit. Don't mind if I do. Oh, perfect, 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 perfect. Okay, I got it already. Now, collateral kills, and now knife kills which Widow's Wine should help me with. Ugh. Why do I do this? Why do I do this to myself? Why do I do this to myself? Oh my God, I have near-death experience. Oh my God, yes, thank you. Oh, thank you. That was actually really good. We got the entire thing done pretty quickly. Okay. Oh, let's take a breather. Let's take a, let's take a second to collect ourselves and then we'll do actually no we'll do the egg after the lockdown we're doing lockdown right now <laughs> i don't know what i'm doing okay boys i just cracked open a fresh nice fresh coke keep my eyes peeled keep my senses engaged at max we're fucking ready like i don't know i'm just i'm truly feeling like the ultimate gamer right now and i'm not gonna mess this up i already did this a few times and i kept dying not this time absolutely not oh my god i absolutely do not care about wasting ammo right now because i got a max ammo down there and i'm gonna pack a punch before i leave anyways so it's honestly not that big a deal if i waste ammo same thing oh wait can i just monkey bomb this and then like oh i guess not i guess not Oh! Yo, that guy was not messing around, that mangler. He was absolutely putting the... Oh, this part is so time-consuming. It's so easy with the Mark III, but it's so time-consuming. Where's the last mangler? Where are you? Oh, yeah. Perfect. We got a Dragon Strike command. We got a Dragon Strike controller. We're going to pack a punch the big boys here. Now, finally, we put the Dragon Egg in. And we do another lockdown. Okay, you, you need to shoot me right here. Right here beside this. I think that's good, right? Surely that's good. Okay, if that, if that doesn't work, <laughs> then I don't know what does. Okay, so that worked. I'm gonna leave right away because I need to come back for the egg anyways. The generator's on already, so I might as well try and get the valve step done while I can. So I know where the pink code cylinder is, but I need to find the green light. There you go, green. Pause. Okay, so that is already set to the right one. Like I said, I if, you watched the, if you watched the Call of the Dead video, I said I'm a pauser. I paused the video and put the me straight steps in especially on this map there it is we got it okay this is uh 
that was pretty good i feel like we did pretty good time there now it's time that we actually start with the real the real easter egg stuff that's basically like the the opener the easter egg opener right there like everything's being done perfectly because now as soon as i come back i grab the gauntlet and after granting after grabbing the gauntlet i can get my dragon wings which means i no longer have to call the dragons in it's just beautiful it's just honestly beautiful the optimization the optimization is wonderful okay we got we've got a there we go we got a cart to grab here we're gonna sit here and use the high round camping strat just to finish the round because i don't want to die i don't want to die i've done this already twice and this is the one this is this is the this is the run that we finish it i don't care okay perfect incubation complete we'll hit for gobble gum we'll hit for gobble gum idolized nope i don't care about idolize am i grab the egg and we're gone wow look how much points we have we should probably grab the rest of our perks right i don't even think i'm oh 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 yeah we're gonna grab that that's that's fine i would have rather got one of the escort steps because i got undead men walking but this will do no this will not do i don't have my gauntlet up are you kidding this is the only one that i need the gauntlet for oh that's why they're going so slow it's because i have undead man walking up oh this is terrible this is just awful this whole thing <laughs> oh my god where's the gobble machine there's got to be one around here right great guess what i finished the step but i can't grab it so uh i i don't even know what happens here yep i failed just like i thought i would oh my god get away from me well this is taking a while i guess uh i guess i might as well talk to you guys a bit what is your favorite easter egg i'd love to hear comment what your favorite easter egg is or what one of your uh most played easter eggs is for me, one Easter egg that I don't know why, but I just feel like I have a connection to, and I've attempted to do it so many times, and I've only completed it, like, I think twice or once, is uh, actually Exo Zombies Carrier. I don't know why. I love playing it, but it is so incredibly hard, and it makes me want to rip out my hair every time. But I still continue to play it because uh, I think I like the difficulty so much. But on that note, I guess it's time for the next step. Let's give Sophia the thing, right? Give her, give her the thing. No? Okay, we gotta pause. Did I not grab it? Oh, with my luck, I definitely didn't grab it. With my luck, I definitely didn't grab it. I didn't grab it, but am, am I actually confused? Thank you. That's the second time I've done that. I'm telling you, like, Treyarch is trolling me. They're actually trolling me at this point. The same thing happened with the graph module parts at the beginning. Here you go, Sophia, take this shit and let me start the next step. Oh, Valkyrie drone. Oh, Valkyrie drone. You know what? Idolize could help with this. This is why this Easter egg is pretty difficult and most people say it's difficult because like we're on round 15 and I now need to escort this Valkyrie that moves like a snail across the entire length of the map but I also can't let the Valkyrie drip, the Valkyrie die. And I have to stay right next to it. Don't forget that part. Okay, the monkeys do help though. I won't lie. The monkeys definitely help, but we're out of monkeys now. So let's see. Okay, Valkyrie drone still moves with Idolize. Perfect. I'm scared to even reload beside this thing because I feel like my electric cherry will kill it. I'm actually, I was debating on what to put on for my fifth Gobblegum slot. I'm so happy I put on Idolize. It's actually extremely, extremely effective for this Easter egg. Wow. Yeah. Later, Valkyrie drone. Idolize OP. Idolize OP. Okay. We're two steps done now. Oh, bomb step. See, now this is where things get a little difficult. Don't worry, though. I got a trick for this step. So now, let me explain. Everything flashes. I clip it. I go to my clip, slow it down, take my time to write out each spot, and you just, you don't ever mess up the bomb step. People say they have trouble with the bomb step. No, bomb step is easy. Okay, we, we're gonna hit Gobblegum still. If we can get, see like that's perfect. That's just gonna make things just a little bit easier now because it's gonna slow everyone down. We paused it, I know exactly what I'm doing now. Dragon command, number one. 
tank factory look i'm not even worried when i click them like there's absolutely no worry because i know i know i'm good and we got this one perfect just do what you supply depot nice and easy now department store and armory and we're good there we go department store is done now it's just armory solo this step is a joke so easy and multiplayer the steps a joke too look ready done we're done bomb step complete it's so easy multiplayer the steps a joke too because i mean you just got to keep a zombie like here i had to i had to get undead man walking but uh multiplayer but multiplayer you just gotta hold the zombie and you're fine so bomb step is done we're we're three to six right now we're, we're doing good next we got mangler and we still have undead man walking up this is perfect absolutely perfect okay let's go find this mangler right away and i'll, and I'll show you a trick for this one too hello mangler there he is look and look look this is what we're gonna do okay sure shoot me we're gonna yet i don't want to talk about it i don't want to talk about it oh looks like we're ending round okay let me explain what i just did there I, I, so i don't look like an idiot like normally i don't do that when i do that i don't have a pack a punch ray gun i just forgot that i pack a punched it already but basically if you shoot the arm off the mangler without killing it then he doesn't stop to shoot his charge shot at you and you can just have him sprint directly to dragon command and it and it gets the step done way faster because he sprints the whole way there instead of walking slow motion mangler step take two we got undead man walking again can you stop shooting me there he goes okay so look now that his arm is gone look he just sprints at me and this step becomes so much easier Look how much easier that is. No, come back. Come back. Come back. Come back. Come back. Come back. I went too far. I went too far. I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Beautiful. We got it. We got it. Now the only step left is the Gersh step. And that should actually be pretty easy now. Now, once again, this step, we got to keep our ears peeled because we're going to hear them before we see them. And if you're ever having trouble with this step, pack a punched Reagan mark three that's how you're gonna do it okay i hear it so it's it's close it's close here right here where are you going where are you going oh he's going going oh my god there we go okay so stand back there we go i think he went all the way to tanks to tank station honestly yeah he did he did okay we're keeping up with him still he's stopping right here he's gonna stop right here right there we go. I think I know where he is. There's a spot right here on my right. There it is. Come on, get in there. Get in there. Okay, now Gersh step is done. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta spin box. I gotta get some better guns here. Cause we're very, very close to the boss fight. Okay, Dingo is okay. PPSH, like PPSH is nostalgic, but are we gonna keep the PPSH? I don't know about that. Oh, if I was playing multiplayer, this is absolutely godly. Perfect, okay. Dracon is exactly what we need. I might just go in with this. That's it, we're done. We're done, that's what I'm taking into the boss fight. I haven't done this Easter egg in forever. But from what I remember, Dracon is really good in the boss fight. And uh, so is the Mark II. Oh, I forgot to, oh, I forgot to hit the button in Dragon Command. We gotta go all the way back, man. Does GK have the nicest pack punch camo in Black Ops 3? I, I gotta say, all of the Black Ops 3 pack punch camos are extremely, extremely nice. Like, all of them. But I think GK might have the nicest. This one is okay, but the, the blue and the purple specifically are so beautiful. Even the green, but the blue and the purple are so nice. No, I forgot the card again! Oh, I'm done. I'm so stupid. I'm so stupid. This is what I get for trying to trying to do this without looking up a guide, man. What am I on right now? See this one. Tell me this isn't one of the nicest pack punch camos you've ever seen in your life. That is, it's so beautiful, man. Oh my, like look how nice that looks. Once this step is done, I'm basically uh, I'm basically at the boss fight. This one too, oh, I got dead wire too. That's exactly what I needed. See this one as well. Look how nice this camo is too. I don't even know which one's nicer, this or the purple, but they're both so nice. Probably some of my favorite pack punch camos ever. So, so nice. 
Was I supposed to grab the card again? If I was supposed to grab the card again and I forgot and I have to go back, I'm going to be so upset because I've already gone back and forth so many times. I forgot to grab the card. I forgot to grab the card. I forgot to grab the card. Thank God I have these damn wings because if I didn't have these wings, I'd be so lost. Okay. Power core right there. Okay. Go, my friend. Go give Nikolai the power core. Okay, let's spin for near death, and that's it. This little bit of lag that keeps popping up on my screen is uh, is scaring me. It's gonna kill. It's gonna get me killed. I'm calling it. It's gonna get me killed. We freed her, boys. We freed her. Later. Round's over. Let's spin Gobblegum. Hopefully, we get near death. It is. It's near death experience. It's. It's near death experience. We're all full on ammo. We got our near death experience. Let's go into the boss fight. We literally can't be more prepared. If uh, I can die unlimited times as well. Uh, I suck at this boss fight. M not the first half. The dragon's fairly easy. It's the Nikolai step that I usually end up dying at. But uh, near death experience, we could die as many times as we want. So uh, if we don't beat this somehow, then I think we just, uh, I think we just, we hang up the boots. We, uh, we call it a day, we never play zombies again, and we close the YouTube channel down. What are you thinking? What are we thinking? Where's the dragon at? There he is. Okay. There it is, there it is, there it is. So for this step, the ray gun is just the best. If I could hit him... Oh my god. Yeah, this, this, okay, this, part's, this part is really easy. I forgot how easy this part is. Is that, uh, yeah, that's a dragon dead. Yeah, dragon step is really easy. Okay, dragons, we're, we're halfway done the boss fight already. We're halfway done the boss fight. That dragon just absolutely combusted. And, uh, we're almost ready to take Nikolai on. Oh, okay. So I'm not sure what the best way to do this is now. I gotta take out all the lights, right? You know, if I could do this without, like, without actually dying, I'll be very happy with myself. Okay, uh, I might as well kill him while I'm on, while I'm down, right? I, I guess I might as well kill him while I'm down. Are you kidding me? Okay, can you leave me alone for, for two seconds? Where even is the last, the last part for me to shoot? Like, where is it? Okay, this guy has aimbot. He actually has aimbot. There it is, there it is, there it is, there it is. Oh. I don't think I got it. I don't think I got it. Oh my god. No, I give up with the ray gun. Oh my god, he's jumping on me. What an asshole. This guy's actually a fucking cunt. I genuinely don't know what to what to say right now. Like, Nikolai, like buddy. Can you can we just cooperate here? Oh my god. He's literally stepping on me. He might as well be emoting on me. He might as well be emoting on me. Oh, wait. Oh, no. It was right there. I missed it. Why did I think it was on his top right shoulder? No. Wait, wait is it the, is that it? The one right in the middle of his body? It is. Oh, I'm so, I'm so, I'm so stupid. I thought, I thought the next one was on the top right shoulder. I haven't done this Easter egg in way too long. Wait, you can walk all throat here. That's so cool. I didn't realize that. Come on. That's it, right? Oh, <laughs> It was there the whole time. I was looking at the complete wrong spot the entire time. That's what I get for trying to do it without without looking up a tutorial. Okay, we're done. There's a weird audio glitch. My game's not... I can't hear anything. But whatever, we're not staying in the game anyways. I'm gonna... Oh, there we go. Audio's back. I'm gonna link the cutscene for this Easter egg in the description like I've done with the rest of the Easter eggs so far. But... This one is uh, is better than the rest. If you if you're gonna watch any of the cutscenes, watch this one. Gord Crovey genuinely has one of the best uh, Easter egg ending cutscenes of any zombies map ever. It's very very good. And uh, yeah, I really really think you should watch it. But with that being said, boys, we're done. Gord Crovey. Next up is gonna be Revelations. Then then I think at that point, zombies will have a pretty solid foundation on the channel, and I'm ready to start going all out. I want to go through custom maps. I want to go through some of 
the later zombies games that I haven't played through, do those Easter eggs for the first time and, and play and learn those maps uh, on video for you guys. I want to start streaming a little bit too. So maybe, maybe we'll pick that up. And if we hit a thousand subs, I might even pull out the face cam. So, you know, smash that sub button. I don't usually ask for subs, but I would appreciate it. We're, we're close to 1K. This has been a fun one for me to make. Probably the most chill Gorod Easter egg attempt I've ever had. Now, would I have completed the boss fight without near-death experience? Uh, probably not. But putting near-death experience on saved me a lot of time and uh, a lot of headache. So you can, you know, you can say whatever you want in the comments. You could tell me that this isn't legit. Sure, I don't really care. But uh, I'll tell you one thing for sure. My sanity has been spared. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you so much for watching and uh, have a beautiful day.